Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about acrylics and how to not hate them. Because I feel that I sort of kind of hated them, but honestly, they are my favorite medium right now to use. And I want to give you a couple tips so that you can also not hate acrylics as well. All right, so here we go. So one of the reasons why people dislike acrylics is blending. Now, how do we go around that? How do we make it so that blending is easy? Well, first of all, we have to talk about why blending is hard to begin with with acrylics. And the number one reason why it's hard is because it dries very quickly and it doesn't allow you to blend with time and with ease and patience. So here's the thing. Because acrylics is made of a plastic chemical, you know, compound of chemicals that are plastics, it's generally, acrylic is generally a plastic, so it makes it a little bit harder, if you think about it, to just blend. But one way to go about that is, you can use a blending medium. So a blending medium is usually clear and it comes in a bottle on its own. You can add a little bit to the paint and this will help the paint slow down as far as drying time, but it would also make it a little bit more transparent if you use too much. So you have to be wary of that. You wanna use this with little bits here and there and it'll help you blend it a lot better. Another way that you can help yourself when, you come, when it comes to blending is to work in sections. So if the section that you have requires you to blend into another color, work in that section rather than adding a solid color to a section and then going back to try to blend that color. And the way that it helps to do this is by allowing yourself to have the colors that you need to blend next to each other in a stay wet palette. That way you can mix it in the palette as well as on the paint canvas itself. Also, don't forget that the blending medium itself lends for you to go over with glazes. Glazing a painting helps to kind of make it cohesive and blend together per se. So that's also a good way to go back and blend if you've already added a solid color to your painting. This takes us to the next issue with acrylics is that they do dry too fast. And because they dry too fast, sometimes you'll end up wasting acrylic paint and you don't want to do that. Even though acrylic paint is actually one of the more inexpensive mediums, to get a good quality acrylics, they do cost a certain amount of money. And you know what? Acrylics, they don't run as much as other mediums such as gouache and watercolor, which means that you can't cover larger areas with the same amount of paint so in essence it kind of cancels itself out as far as the inexpensiveness and the you know versatility of the paint how far it'll go so okay one way to fix this is to use a stay wet palette so a stay wet palette you can buy it on it's a little palette that's a container closed airtight container that comes with a sort of sponge like um, towel and then you place over it a special piece of paper or you could use paper such as the ones that you use for your kitchen like parchment paper that's perfect for that actually so you can buy the whole set already done for you and it's fairly inexpensive it should come out to less than twenty dollars depending where you buy it of course or you can make it on your own you just have to make sure that the container that you use is airtight now the next issue with acrylics is that they're not travel friendly okay so in essence a stay wet palette can help with this if you use a stay wet palette and you carry it on with you then yeah it is travel friendly because the paint doesn't dry it takes a very long time for actual paint in, in a stay wet palette to dry so yeah you you can do that but if you like a cohesiveness in your art and you don't want to just carry around a whole bucket of things with paint and all that stuff you can use acrylic paint markers that way you keep the cohesiveness of your art if you like to work strictly with acrylics and you have a fun different type of way to apply that 
And in this video, you will see that in this painting, I used acrylic paint markers, and these are Posca markers. Actually, the one that I used right there is a different brand, but usually I use Posca acrylic markers for this, and it works perfect. If you learn, you can mix acrylic markers together and you can blend them together. You just have to work very quickly, kind of like acrylic paint, but even quicker. So yeah, next problem is the cleaning and setup. That is a lot compared to watercolor, right? No, actually, no. All you need to clean brushes as far as acrylics is mainly just water. If you wanna go the extra step to take care of your brushes so they last a little bit longer, you can use a soap for it, and that in itself is totally fine. Any soap that you want, it's perfectly fine. Now, as far as setup, I recommend putting things in a container and that way you have them right there. I would put everything, including my paints, my brushes, even a mason jar of water in that container, and usually it's a plastic container, and I take it with me wherever I need to put it, or I, it's already set up for me in my desk whenever I want to paint. I have my Stay Wet palette ready to go, and it's easy to start painting with acrylics. And as far as cleaning, like I said, it's super easy to just rinse out your brushes and then go about your day. The only extra step that you really have with acrylics is to clean your brushes. And like I said, water does the job for this. So there's no need <laughs> to worry too much about the cleaning and setup. It's not that much more than watercolor or any other medium that doesn't take that much time. The other issue that people might have with acrylics is that they're too opaque. Now, in order to make acrylics a little bit more translucent, even to use them such as giving an appearance of watercolor, all you need is to add a little bit of water. Now here's the thing, acrylics and water don't mix well if you use too much because the binder used in acrylics is a glue and when you add water to a glue, it loses the effect and it doesn't stick to the paper, causing it to peel later on on your canvas, especially if you water it down too much and then add thick layers of paint on top of that. So you want to be careful with watering down your acrylics, but again, if you use a blending medium, this makes the opaque color translucent and it doesn't alter the ability to bind to the paper either. So that's perfect way to go about with the issue of maybe it being a little too opaque for your liking. Another reason why people might not like acrylics is because they tend to be a very robust uh, type of medium. They're usually very much they require more elbow grease in order to paint in comparison to watercolors and in comparison to gouache now you can go about this in different ways you can use a medium very little to help it flow a little bit easier but you can also purchase acrylic paints that are fluid you can purchase acrylic paints that are heavy body and you can purchase regular acrylic paints these paints come in different varieties of thickness and their velocity, I believe is what it's called. It's different, so it allows you to just move more smoothly across the canvas. And another thing I will say, part of this whole fact that acrylics tends to be a little bit more of a robust medium, you can counteract that also with priming your canvas. Just when your canvas allows the paint to run smoother and allows you to get more bang for your buck, wasting less paint in the process. So another issue we have is sometimes they're too transparent. Okay, so if you've worked with gouache like I have, you enjoy the fact that gouache is so opaque. One layer of gouache over something, as long as it's creamy, will cover it and it's just so great to have that choice for you. So a way to counteract that is to make sure that when you look at the packaging, usually a higher artist grade packaging will show you the amount of transparency that the pigment has. So offer a packaging that shows that it is more opaque. Now, generally speaking, acrylic is not as opaque as gouache, but you can use thicker layers of acrylic to combat that. As you will see in some of my painting, I don't really have to go over it too much because I'm using thicker layers of paint. And when you use thicker layers of paint, that helps against the transparency. 
Another issue that you may have with acrylics is that canvases tend to generally be more expensive than paper, but guess what? You can combat this issue as well. Acrylics generally work well on many surfaces, including wood, even rock. You can prime it to make it more optimized for your painting, but there also is acrylic paper. Canson sells acrylic and oil paper, which I absolutely love. I love the texture of the linen paper. It is already primed, so you don't need to gesso it, so it makes it very convenient. And generally, if you don't use a lot of water, you can use acrylics in your sketchbooks as well, and it makes for a beautiful painting. Anywhere you take it, the great thing about acrylic paint is that beautiful sheen and just dominance that it, it it just demands <laughs> that usually you don't find in other mediums unless it's maybe like oil. That's, that's a whole different beast. Another reason why people might not necessarily like the process of acrylic painting is just generally sketching over canvas is tends to be a little bit not as pleasant as if you were to sketch over watercolor paper or a sketchbook for say. But a way to combat this is to use chalk instead of graphite pencil. You can not only use chalk, but you can also use acrylic paint markers. It helps to just make the process a lot more enjoyable instead of trying to just combat this graphite against the canvas. It, sometimes it just doesn't feel good. So if you have that sensory type of issue or if you just generally don't like the process of sketching on canvas, those are ways that you can look out that you can kind of override that issue in the process. Just like I did in this video, I did use chalk and then I used Posca markers to do details that I wanted afterwards. If you do want an exact image of, let's say, a printed piece of lined work or maybe you did it on Procreate and you want to transfer it onto the canvas, you can do that as well with a graphite transfer sheet. So using a graphite transfer sheet, just apply that sheet over the canvas and then trace over it with whatever medium you like to use just to make sure that you can tell the difference between what you've already traced and what is not traced yet, just to save you time and effort. Now, another way you can do this is by watering down the acrylic paint and using that to sketch. That's actually a very fun way to sketch a piece of work on the canvas and granted you either have to let go of your perfectionism or and, and allow yourself to be a little bit more either abstract or just allow yourself to make mistakes because generally speaking it's going to be a lot harder to do a sketch just straight off free freeing it up with just a paintbrush and you know very run down acrylic paint a way to combat that though is using a grid system. So if you use a grid system in your paint, in your canvas, you can kind of combat the, you know, lack of proportion accuracy. Now that we've combated the issues with acrylic paints that people generally tend to have, let's look at what acrylic paint is good for. Acrylic paint is good if you want to work on a variety of different surfaces. But the best thing for me is the bold effect, color, and vibrancy that acrylic paint gives you that it's not the same in watercolor or in other mediums such as maybe crayons or anything of that liking. Acrylic paint just has a very strong, bold, vibrant look to it. And if that's what you like to go for, if that's the style that you want, it's very hard to achieve it with anything else other than oil paints yes but oil paints like I said is a different beast and I'm not ready to try those so yeah the other great thing about acrylic paints is that you can do a lot of texture so sometimes I find myself when I'm doing a gouache painting or a watercolor painting I find myself going back with colored pencils to give a little bit of texture to it more so with gouache because gouache tends to be very flat I come back and try to do a little bit of texture with it and honestly speaking, with acrylic paints, you don't have to do this. It's very easy to create texture with acrylic paints. Not only can you use an impasto effect, you can use mediums that make the paint very thick and the texture actually protrudes from the canvas so you can create a lot of different effects with it. And again, you can use large amounts of paint, just allow the layers to dry fully 
and and that in itself creates a lot of different texture brush strokes dry brush strokes create texture with acrylic paints too it's very easy to create and very natural to create texture with acrylics so if you like that type of art acrylics is for you here's another reason why i love acrylics and that is glazing because of the fact that acrylics dry permanently and they cannot be re-wet on your canvas you can glaze over to your heart's content using the blending medium glaze over to create shadows to create lighting to change up the lighting to add depth and dimension to your piece this is something that is very hard when you're working with a wet medium and extremely easy and comfortable to do with acrylics Acrylics is also great if you're a fast worker and you don't have patience for the medium to dry. Ten generally speaking, acrylics dry within minutes of applying it. It all depends on the thickness of the layer, but even so with thick layers, it doesn't take very long to dry. And that's the best thing about people who like to work fast with their artwork, is that you don't have to wait. Having to wait and having to just stifle your creativity in that sense where you have to pause before you can keep going. Sometimes you're just in a momentum and you really want to just go on and, and keep on creating and, and you have ideas and they're just running really fast through your brain and you need to be able to have a medium that can handle that. That is the difference between acrylics and oils, whereas oils takes a long time to dry. And so you have to be very careful and you have to plan out things very much in advance with acrylics you don't have to plan out things in advance if you don't want to if that's not the style the process that you go for me personally i don't plan a lot of things in advance with acrylics i just don't have the patience or i don't like the structure of planning too much so acrylics works great for this type of artist the last thing i'm gonna say is just generally if you consider art as a career or even more of a passion whatever it may be the versatility of acrylics is astounding. So the best thing for me, kind of one of those things that kind of made me think, yeah, I want to more focus on acrylics than anything else, is the fact that you can do murals with acrylics. Acrylics is what's used for murals. So if you want to do mural or if you want to venture into that type of career, you have the ability to do that. You have the ability to work very small and tiny, and you have the ability to work very large. So. I have to say that acrylics for me is the ultimate winner when it comes to mediums. As far as painting mediums anyways, I just have to say the only thing about acrylics is that even though acrylics are quote unquote non-toxic, they still release fumes in the air. This is a plastic binder that is used. So you have to think that there is something going out in the air. I would suggest when you're working with acrylics, work in a very well ventilated ventilated area so that you feel safe and you have peace of mind but yeah that guys is the reason why i absolutely love acrylics and not hate them and the reason why maybe you should too if you're on the fence try buying a small piece of acrylic and see what you do with it try buying a small set of acrylics sorry not a small piece and see how it works for you all right guys See you on the next video. Bye.